Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering Pritam. In this video, we will talk about a variable pull draft. This video is going to be our last video on this draft series. In our previous videos, we saw how we can create a basic draft. Then we also saw how we can create different draft in different direction of draft hinge. Now we will talk about a variable pull direction draft. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let me quickly click here on this variable pull draft and then you can see this is very basic feature that we have created through Xroute. The first thing here we need to do is we need to define the pull direction reference of face. So let's say you would like to provide draft here, here and here as well or maybe in these two sides and then um, we would like to perform a variable draft then what we need to do here is we need to define the pull direction reference of face. So let me select this one. And now let's say let's start with this face. So I'm going to provide this edge as a draft hinge. And there we go, guys. Here we can see the preview. Let's say I would like to make it five degree. And sometime what happened that we would like to add multiple angle in a single side. So that is possible here guys using this variable pull draft. So let's click here on add angle by making right click. Now here we go. Here we will see two different angle. And it is not only limited to two. You can actually um, you know increase it or even delete the angle. So it is totally up to us. So let me add three here. Now again it is totally up to us where we would like to change it so let me put 10 here and 3 here there we go guys here we can see uh, how different it is and let me actually play with this dynamic collector and then um, here we can see how different it look like so in this way guys we can actually form a fairly complicated draft based on our need now let me again go to edit definition and let's say you also would like to add draft to this direction for that uh, we can simply click on new set and then we need to select the side and then here you can specify the angle okay and then obviously we can also split it based on our need so in this way guys, we can utilize variable pull draft inside PTZ Creo parametric. Now, um, if I go here in option, we can also uh, create it as a quilt. Okay, this is the quilt. And um, again, it's up to us how much the distance you would like to keep. So based on our need, we can keep the distance. We can also flip it. So it's totally up to us which direction we would like to keep this quilt and then um, we can also change the direction so in this way guys uh, we can also utilize this variable pull draft that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering victim to follow complete pt secure parametric series and i will see you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye